Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about trends today because in some areas, EA are very predictable, but not so much in other areas. One trend yesterday was broken while another continued much to our dismay because it hasn't meant good things so far this year in this game. We're going to cover all of that today. The latest showdown series content, the trends that are continuing, the trends that stopped and what to expect today on a Sunday content day. We always expect some big content on Sundays. Will they deliver today? We'll talk about that more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's SBCs and objective and evolution content. I'm still working on a kanji. I got three or four squads done, and it was helped with the craft of this card and a lot of the other showdowns and other SBCs because of one of the SBCs that was dropped yesterday. But before we get to that, let's go to our daily showdown players, right? We're getting two showdown players each and every day, and yesterday it was the two that we expected. It was Alexander Isak and Ben Chilwell, of course, for the upcoming game, which is happening tomorrow on Monday, Newcastle versus Chelsea. Now, EA didn't juice these cards up as much as they did Akanji and Bobby Clark, but I would say that this is still a really good set of SBCs, especially this ESOT card. You've got a double playstyle plus 88 rated card, which could go to a 90 if Newcastle win this game. He's got Rapid Plus and Power Shot Plus. Not a ton of other playstyles, to be completely honest, but what we're seeing here is EA basically didn't upgrade these cards as much as they did to Akanji and Clark, but I think it's because they wanted to make some cheaper showdown SBCs to appeal to as many people as possible in this game, whether you have a lot of coins or not a lot of coins or fodder in your ultimate team. Now, these cards aren't bad. I think Isak is the favorite, uh, but when I look at Isak, I think at the, about the SBC that almost everybody did in the last two weeks in this game, and that was Timo Werner. If you have Timo Werner, I mean, obviously this is a completely different card than him, but Isak is a Premier League striker and he's 125,000 coins that when I look at this I don't think he goes straight into my team over Timo Werner no chance he does have the power shot he does have the rapid Isak's always overpowered in game he wasn't this card isn't as great as I was really hoping that he could be but it's not terrible I think he is the favorite SBC 748 upvotes only 125,000 coins for a card that is always pretty OP in game regardless of maybe what some of the stats say I think it is a decent SBC and he is 72% upvoted on the flip side Ben Chilwell I don't even know man we've had some really good left backs I feel like most people in this game have an abundance of left backs in their teams and this card just doesn't cut it yes he could go to 90 rated and get 90 pace long ball pass and incisive pass he looks more of like a midfielder maybe to me sub him on as a center mid instead of a left back uh it's not a bad card it's only 80,000 coins with two play style pluses that is pretty decent now just to give you an idea I love these graphics shout out to foot share for tweeting this out just to give you an idea of what the cards could potentially look like for their optimal upgrades, if Chelsea win tomorrow, Chilwell goes to a 90, he'd look like this. Isak would go to a 90 and look like this. And then, of course, you have the opportunity to put them into that evolution where you can upgrade them even more. And, you know, Isak would go to a 91, Chilwell to a 91. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't be that terrible, to be completely honest. If Isak were able to look like this in the end, kind of like the same thing we were looking at with the Akanji card, it could be good. So I like that the prices are cheaper and I understand why the cards aren't that crazy juiced, right? That's our word we like to use, boosted and juiced combined to juiced. Uh, but it's it's solid. It's solid. It's kind of like 7, 8 out of 10 content. It's not boom straight into your team like the other cards, like Kanji and Clark, but it is decent and they are live upgrading showdown cards. So that's kind of my thoughts there for the showdown. I don't know who's going to be today. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Really, really interested to see who is today's showdown SBC. Now let's talk about the SBC that all of us love every single time that it drops, but it was a trend that was broken. We mentioned the 83 times 10 in yesterday's video, but I wasn't really expecting it. I was expecting the 8220. EA broke the trend, which is great because this is way better than the 82 times 20. Our beloved 83 times 10 returns, which is a fodder crafting machine of an SBC. Same requirements as always. I mean, if you look at it per a price standpoint, it's 40,000 coins to do, but we all know that it is very craftable with the 81 plus player picks, with the exchange grind, all the upgrade packs that are out right now, and the ability to even do the 83 plus team of the week 
player pick to get yourself or 85 plus whatever the team league player pick is at this rate i think it's an 83 plus uh, you can craft this sbc very 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 easily and i'm very glad that ea broke the trend because that sbc is like we said much better for crafting everything whether it's showdowns like i'm using the 83 times 10 i did all three of those today to give me some higher rated cards to do another uh, squad of a kanji i have to barely finish off that fourth and final squad a couple of objective packs will help me do that and this is probably a last call if you want to do bobby clark or a kanji these sbcs expire before content today since that game is happening today on sunday make sure you get either of those done but the 83 times 10 is always a w we absolutely love that uh, and it also helps you craft this brand new sbc that is unlimited repeatable a gamble pack if you will that you can do as many times as you want and this one's okay it's not great but it's also low rated enough and what you're getting back from this pack will give you the opportunity to craft back into it very easily, especially with the 83 times 10. Again, the player picks that are still out for one more day, the 81 plus player picks and the exchange grind uh, allowed me to do three of these today in just a short amount of time. And look, I'm putting in the, the three cards that I got two of the three back into the SBC. I mean, this is basically the same pack that you get from getting 11 wins or more in weekend league. It's not an amazing pack, but it is at least something fun to do. And with the repeatability and the grindability of the menus right now to get this fodder, it is fun to try out. So we're going to open one here. Um, is that Robbo? No. Oh my gosh. Kieran Tierney Thunderstruck. Oh, that is not good. Um, what's he, 86 rated? Okay, boom, straight back into the SBC for sure. If you're a little bit more lucky, you could pack somebody who's 87, 8, or 9 rated and then throw them into an exchange SBC or craft a squad of like a kanji. Like I was hoping for an 89 right there. I would have put that into the kanji SBC. But I have no problem with the 85 plus pick um, just because it is something fun to sit and do on the menus if you're grinding the menus a lot right now. Just don't expect anything crazy from it. That is for sure. Now, the one thing I will say is in the whole list of all the different promo cards that you can pack from this, it doesn't mention team, a road to the final cards. It mentions team of the group stages. It doesn't mention road to the final cards, but I have seen people pack those. I don't know if it's a compensation situation. Since I've done the SBC now four times, I don't think I would get compensation for that. Technically, if you packed a road to the final and it didn't say that, we'll just wait for an EA tweet. If EA mentions something about it, then they will. But if they don't say anything, I don't know if they'll say anything. This is one of those 50-50 opportunities, so I wouldn't expect it. Um, I mean, there's a lot of different promo cards in that SBC to begin with. So I wouldn't go chasing compensation just because of that drop in yesterday with that kind of wordage moved. But since this SBC was dropped, you know, guys, what makes fodder prices move the most in this game, right? It is the gamble packs, the chance at getting something good. What did we say to invest in a couple days ago, right? 84s, 5s, and 6s. Holy, did 85s go to the freaking moon. 85s are almost the price that 86s were earlier on the weekend. We have got 85s that have gone from 4,000 coins, 4,500 coins to 7 Okay, I know some of you guys were investing. We were talking about this for the upcoming showdown promo, the favorite investments for the upcoming week. And I was shouting the 84s to 86s the most. Wow, I did not expect this big of a rise. This player um, SBC, the campaign mix upgrade rather, really helped out the rises on those cards. If I had 85s to 86s, I would probably still hold on to them right now. EA are running the lightning rounds still in the store like crazy and it's supplying those. But those prices just keep going up because this SBC is unlimited repeatable so big w there for that low tier fodder um is rising like crazy so ggs if you invested i think informs actually went down a little bit but again i think that's due to the again the fact that uh the store packs are just so crazy i think informs actually they're barely down they're like 29 30 000 coins they're basically the same price um so they haven't moved too much but i know they were above 30k for a little bit but it really it's those 85s that went crazy we also had the refresh of the icon player pick we, you've seen it here right it's right here in front of you 87 plus this refresh yesterday and it's expiring today so if you want to get that done last call to do that but other than that fodder moved in the low tier range because of this 85 plus pick for sure now that's enough of the sbc action let's go to the objectives just for a quick second there was a new uh, fc pro set of objectives released here because there is a pro event today fc pro leagues season six so for watching the pro events you get the uh two players pack wow great stuff and then you also get the emls cup kickoff and champion objectives done here um, which one thing that i noticed is 
EA sent me this kit, the the EA the EA MLS home kit. That I have that kit, and it's different from the one that is in the game. Like the kit that I have says TikTok on it as a sponsor, and this one says Coke No Zero Sugar. I'm confused. Anyways, minor details. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, from objectives yesterday. Not a whole lot going on there. The last thing to cover from yesterday's content would be the evolutions. And we had a new Evo yesterday. And this is the trend that continued that is not a good trend. These icon evolutions, first of all, why is EA dropping this twice? Why do we need two of these? Why not release two of the golden glow up evolution? Um, or maybe even two of the showdown winners boost when we're getting showdown SBCs all through the week Give us this a second opportunity to do this, but they give us two of these legends of the pitch guys Here's the trend anytime they release an evolution for icons and upgrading icons. It's an L it has happened now three times this year 6% upvoted a hundred thousand coins for this um, evolution some of the best cards to come out of it are Prince and Beckham I think Beckham's maybe one of the most hyped cards if you take a look at his cards price it went up a lot yesterday but guys like whenever there's an icon Evo the the cards that are the most biggest names and the ones that are the most popular icons they go up like every single time so it is a really good opportunity to like maybe trade or if there's leaks to invest off of that but the upgrades itself for what you are paying are just not that great. David Beckham, of course, does go to a decent card here. Goes 84 pace. He gets the quick step and dead ball play style plus. He goes 96 passing, which is pretty crazy, right? But you're paying 220k plus 100k to get the evolution done. So you're 320,000 coins into the card. And you're getting a card that's, sure, if you're a fan of David Beckham, the best version that you can kind of get of him for just playing the game. Especially if you already have one in the club. But, like... This card dropped yesterday, like the Future Stars Beckham dropped in price yesterday after the Evo came out for a noticeably worse version of the Beckham card. I mean, this one's got four star, four star, whipped pass plus. He had the huge pace boost, huge defending boost. This card has 80 defending. This one has um, 69 defending. So I know if you already have one of these in the club or if you, you know where this is actually, this is five head plays from EA. They make everybody go and do. The icon player pick, right? That's the gamble everybody wants to do. And then they allow you to put the terrible <laughs> base icon that you get from this into the evolution and make you spend more coins to get a higher rated. That's that's what they're going for, right? Not really. But I just think that the icon evos this year have been terrible. I mean, the other icon evos that we have had are the icon upgrade, which was 8% upvoted. It cost 200,000 coins. And then I think it was... I forget the other one that was released. Um, Legendary Comeback. Yeah. And it was like Baresi and Nesta. And they weren't horrific if you already had it in your club. But another 200,000 coin evolution. That's a trend that just needs to stop, I guess. I don't know. Icon Evos. Maybe they just need to stop releasing them because none of them have been that good. Um, we like evolving silver cards up to a, a semi-meta version of a player. Rather than getting rid of the Icon card design and giving them the Evo card design. I don't know. So I know some of you guys might like this because you already have one in the club, but I think that is that is a trend that I would be fine if it stopped and if we didn't get any more Icon Evos because every single one that we seem to get is just not good. That was the content yesterday in this game. One thing I do want to cover really quickly is the store because EA continues to run. They're not out right now because they expired, but they continue to run crazy store lightning rounds and crazy packs. They put a 750,000 coin. This was the big icon pack that we looked at earlier in the week. It guarantees you four icons, winter wild cards, future stars, or Champions League heroes, heroes or icons in the pack. One of them is guaranteed to be 89 or higher. And then an 81 times 35 untradeable in the pack. I mean, wow, 750,000 coins is absolutely bananas. And this isn't even the biggest pack that was released in the store yesterday, um, in my opinion, because remember that 50K pack? They re-released it a couple hours after content. The grab bag, right? The one that was $2 to do, 50,000 coins. I opened it for a second time because, like, you have a chance at packing a team of the year. And EA, they're going to get a lot of people to open that pack just like I did. Um to try to get a team of the year. I didn't get one. I got Oryarthabal. So there's that. But EA just seems to be going all out with the packs right now, man. It's I don't get it. Like, why are they running? We have already mentioned this, but why are they running better lightning rounds for a re-release of old cards in packs than what they had for lightning rounds during team of the year? It really does not make sense. Maybe they see that the hype of this game is just not very good and they're trying to milk it for all it's worth and, and make as much money as they can. I, 
question mark? I don't even know, man. So they keep dropping these tradable lightning rounds like the 85 times 7 and the 84 times 10 as well. And it would impact fodder. But then again, like we saw yesterday, these cards and for fodder are all still doing very, very well because of the demand, especially on the lower tier. Now, I will say, um, I do think that it is probably keeping some of the card prices in check like team of the weeks didn't go up that much because they got supplied right from the lightning rounds um and we saw even on wednesday and thursday of last week the fantasy cards you're seeing it happen and be impacted on the market now as some of them are dropping a ton as they got packed a lot last week these team two cards that are dropping a lot from panic selling there's so much supply on the market from all those lightning rounds that have been put out they're probably going to run those lightning rounds again today so i'd watch out for supply on the team of the week uh watch out for the supply on the re-release of players that are in packs like you know we just looked at the neymar but maybe it's fire ramos who i was able to flip yesterday i was able to flip a team of the group stage bukai osaka from 400 to like 450 he ended up going higher than that but just keep an eye on these cards because they are fluctuating and they get supplied day in day out with these lightning rounds and it is moving the market so let's talk about today though we already mentioned the lightning rounds those are going to come today for sure sunday sundays are days that we always pay attention to for a couple different reasons now of course We've got a showdown SBC that's coming today. Daily showdowns. That's the whole point of this promo. Who's it going to be? It's not as clear cut today, guys, because we had a game today, right? We've got City Liverpool. The game tomorrow is Chelsea Newcastle. And then I don't even know from all the leaked showdowns that are out right now, I have zero clue who is going to be the showdown today because so many of the other games, like this Barca Atletico Madrid game, isn't until the 17th of March. There's other leaked games for these showdowns that aren't even happening until the 24th of March. Um, same thing here with uh, Inter and Napoli. I think this game's taking place next weekend on the 17th as well. I have no idea who the showdown is going to be today. Just go, I would say, off of any of the leaks. There's like five more leaked SBCs to come out or pairs of showdowns. Uh, that it could be. It's really just uh, up in the air. I do imagine that there would be a leak today before the content drop, kind of telling us who it is going to be. Uh, there's an NWSL, there's a Bundesliga, there's Serie A, there's a cup matchup for uh, Manchester United and City, the women's teams. So there's still a lot of potential there. I just, we have to see big boosted cards once again. I wonder if EA is going to go one set of crazy boosted cards like a Kanji and Clark, and then one kind of like quieter set of cards like they did with Isak and chill well we'll just have to see but we will get a showdown sbc today speaking of content time if you're in usa this is for my usa uh, lads only um there is a time change today which means content time is going to be different from all of us that are affected by time change um maybe it's not just usa it's other places as well i guess um but uh content's going to be one hour later than normal because we are springing forward so just kind of watch out for that it should stay the same if you're in the uk because your clocks aren't changing but over here ours are so that's the showdown situation i actually have a quick guess at who our showdown might be today there was a leaked nwsl showdown with crystal dunn um i think that might be the showdown we get today just a guess but we'll have to see but speaking of sundays we also see usually an icon or a hero right speaking of trends on sundays we have either a new icon or a hero player pick and last week was the icon so this week will ea continue the trend and give us a hero or will they break the trend and give us an icon once again? I kind of hope they break the trend, to be completely honest. With the 83 times 10 that is out, the player pick still being out for another day, I would be super down for another icon pick. I know a lot of you guys like the icon picks over the hero picks. The one thing they could do today is release a hero pick that doesn't include the base heroes. And if they do that, that might actually be a halfway decent hero pick. We'll have to see. So watch out for that. I think something along those lines will come today too. And then, of course, you think about Icon SBCs. We had the Jarzinho. Yashin, right? Yashin is still leaked. It is very possible that he could be coming as an SBC today or sometime very soon. So I'm just kind of thinking of all the SBCs that are possible. The Daily Showdown's guaranteed. Some sort of gamble pack today via an Icon or a Hero Player pick is expected. Almost guaranteed. And then a card like Yashin is possible, but really unknown now also what's happening today we have to talk about this from action yesterday too is the fantasy cards the upgrades and the games that were played yesterday and these cards are moving a lot on the market once again the biggest surprise of yesterday 100 percent was Bayern scoring eight goals now i'm on the lucky side of this because i have literally this delict card in my ultimate team and he is getting a plus two this wednesday right all the upgrades from this weekend's game 
games happen this coming Wednesday. They got their second win, and they scored so many goals uh, that they have one game left, Bayern does, for this Delict card. Um, and he could still get a clean sheet, and with one more appearance, he would go to a fully upgraded, he would go a plus four, he'd go to a 93 rated car, which would be bananas, but he's going to go to a 91 on Wednesday, Lisa Razu getting upgraded as well, there were plenty of cards yesterday that are getting upgrades, and there's plenty more today, the one thing that I will tell you is, um, sell into the hype, Shalhanoglu, right, he actually is getting an upgrade, he was 200,000 coins before the game kicked off, he went down all the way to 120, he's now 134, um, Lacazette's even getting an upgrade, he didn't even play, but he dropped off a bunch. He's 215k. Who else dropped off yesterday? Lei Mei Lu, they didn't perform that great, but he did play. He's still 28,000 coins. And a lot of these are, if you invested for a fodder side of things, you can keep holding for the longer haul. But if you invested for maybe a quick upgrade this weekend, a lot of the prices stay the same or went down. Um, Matson Dortmund got their win, so he's getting an upgrade to an 89, but he's actually down a little bit. Before the game, he was 49k, so selling in the hype is always a safe play. Be careful with Pedro Porro today. This is a situation where he needs to play. Um, if somehow he doesn't play or if Spurs do not play well, this card could drop, even though it's a really good investment, in my opinion, still. He needs to play today for this to maintain to be a good investment. Um, and, of course, they still have three matches remaining. So just keep a close eye on these cards. I sold my Molinas yesterday during the Atletico Madrid game. Orban was a good one, right? Orban and Leipzig. He is going to get himself an upgrade this Wednesday. He's going to go to an 89-rated card. So I'm glad that I held on to a couple of those that I picked up in the low 30K range. And he's still one game away or one appearance away, two games away from getting another upgrade. So he could still go to a 91 rated card. You're still going to have to wait on that. So just be careful with the fantasies. Know the reason why you're investing. A lot of, for me, I was investing for the quick flips. So I sold most of those cards yesterday. Took some decent profits on Matson and a couple of those. But on some others like Aspas, I am still holding. Um, and a couple of other cards that I have too, I'm still holding on to these. It got this at like 30,000 coins. And he's probably going to go up to like hopefully a 91 rated card when he'll be like 55, 60K and we'll make some good coins there. So selling in the hype is always a safe play, but watch out for those fantasy cards because they will be moving once again today. And the last thing I'm going to say is just continue to keep an eye on the market. All right. Continue, if you, especially if you're somebody who has got these cards, team of the years, tradable in your teams. I mean, we saw like, wow, Frimpong, 4.2 milli. Now down just a little bit, still right around 4.2 mil, but I'm starting to see again, not just on team of the years. I'm using these as an example because I do believe they're going to drop. But, you know, just a few of these cards have started to, to drop off. Wendy Renard was 2.6 mil on Thursday. She's now 2.2. Probably Akanji's hurt her price for sure. But that's just something to be careful on. We are in that stage of March. We're heading into foot birthday. It's such a massive promo. You're going to want to be careful. There are coins that are being drained right now off of the market through store packs, through SBCs, all that stuff. Be careful with those really, really expensive cards. And with these re-release cards too, like we said yesterday, it's kind of correcting the market in some areas as well. So good times to trade, good times to flip on out-of-pack specials. Just don't get stuck with anything too crazy because the next couple of weeks might get interesting. Hopefully, foot birthday is a massive W. But until we get there, we're getting the daily showdowns. Hopefully, some other spicy Sunday content today to get us a little excited about what's to come and to grind in this game. At least the menu craft is still here. That's what I want to end off the video by saying. I know that a lot of the hype for the gameplay and all that's not the best, but the fact that I have not spent a dime on a kanji and then I can go and craft this through the exchanges, through the 83 times 10s, through the 81 plus player pick, the menu grind right now is fantastic, right? It is still good because of this player pick being here. Once this goes away, we need another one to come back, hopefully the 80 plus. But that's, that's holding the menus together right now is the crafting and all the packs and objectives too that you can get. It's a W. So enjoy that menu craft, guys. And hopefully today we get a couple more player SBCs that we get excited about to craft for upcoming upgrades for Showdown Games. If you're excited for that, drop a thumbs up on the video today. Drop a comment down below of uh, what you're enjoying on this game right now. Maybe it's not anything at all and you're just watching the video to stay up to date. That's fine too. Drop a comment down below um, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Happy Sunday, guys. Enjoy your Sundays and I will see you guys hopefully in a stream today. That link's down below in the description. I'll catch you guys there. It's been Nathan with Accountant. Peace. Out.